We offer our viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains prayers for the Mass, scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers. It'll be a great guide for your daily prayer time. For your free copy, call us toll free at 1-855-855-MASS. That's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're joining us through YouTube, please click below to subscribe to our channel. The Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass is a viewer-supported ministry. Please do your part to help keep Mass on TV and online. If you receive our monthly bulletin, you may use the enclosed reply envelope to send in your regular offering. Thank you and may God bless you. We gather in prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Hello, everyone. Warm greetings to all of you, especially those who are watching on TV this day. We come in God's presence. We give God thanks and praise for the many gifts we've been given. And in a special way, as we gather, we recognize our failure to follow the invitation that God gives us, and we ask forgiveness for our faults. Lord Jesus, Son of God, Son of Mary, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, gift of the Father, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, the gate to eternal life, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring all of us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray.
and let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our heart through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, go down at once to your people whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, for they have become depraved. They have soon turned aside from the way I pointed out to them, making for themselves a molten calf and worshiping it, sacrificing to it and crying out, this is your God, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. I see how stiff-necked this people is, continued the Lord to Moses. Let me alone then, that my wrath may blaze up against them to consume them. Then I will make of you a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord his God, saying, Why, O Lord, should your wrath blaze up against your own people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, them with such great power, with so strong a hand? Remember your servants, Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, and how you swore to them by your own self, saying, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and all this land that I promised, I will give your descendants as their perpetual heritage. So the Lord relented in the punishment he had threatened to inflict on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, I am grateful to him who has strengthened me, Christ Jesus, our Lord, because he considered me trustworthy in appointing me to the ministry. I was once a blasphemer and a persecutor and arrogant, but I have been mercifully treated because I acted out of ignorance in my unbelief. Indeed, the grace of our Lord has been abundant, along with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. This saying is trustworthy and deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Of these, I am the foremost. But for that reason, I was mercifully treated so that in me, as the foremost, Christ Jesus might display all his patience as an example for those who would come to believe in him for everlasting life. To the king of ages, incorruptible, invisible, the only God, honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. Amen. Our gospel reading today is taken from the good news recorded for us by Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to listen to Jesus. But the Pharisees and the scribes began to complain, saying, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. So to them he addressed this parable. What man among you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, would not leave the 99 in the desert and go after the lost one until he finds it. And when he does find it, he sets it on his shoulders with great joy. And upon his arrival home, he calls together his friends and neighbors and says to them, rejoice with me because I have found my lost sheep. I tell you, in the same way, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous people who have no need of repentance. Or what woman, having 10 coins and losing one, would not light a lamp and sweep the house, searching carefully until she finds it? And when she finds it, she calls together her friends and neighbors and says to them, rejoice with me because I have found the coin that I lost. In just the same way, I tell you, there will be rejoicing among the angels of God over one sinner who repents. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Maybe I'm of that age, but every once in a while I lose things. Now, I don't know if it's an age thing. I really don't think it is, but I think we all have some time in our lives where we kind of lose things. We misplace our car keys or, you know, sometimes a cell phone and things like that. But we kind of lose things and we want to find them again. I have this thing with a pen. I have a favorite pen. And I take it with me all over the place. And unfortunately, I usually leave it the last place I've used it. And so, you know, Catholics have this tradition that if you lose things, who do you pray to? St. Anthony, right? And uh, there's a number of prayers to St. Anthony. And some of them, one of them I know... I think it's a little maybe disrespectful, but it goes, Tony, Tony, come on round. Something's lost and needs to be found. You know, and I kind of wonder, well, what happens when God loses things? Well, obviously God doesn't lose anything, but I think in the, 
in the gospel reading and even in the first reading, we get a glimpse of things that are lost that God created. Now, God knows where they are, but it seems that sometimes we lose God and we don't even know it. And that tends to be a problem. What do we do when we lose God? In the first reading, we hear about Moses and the people of God had wandered away from God again, and that's kind of sad. And Moses is telling God, no, no, they're gonna come back. They'll be fine, they'll be fine. In the gospel reading, we hear about the parables that Jesus told us, and those parables give us some insight into how much God loves us, takes care of us, and keeps searching for us. Because God loves us so much that he wants us close. The lost sheep. Sometimes you say, a good shepherd would not leave 99 sheep in the desert unattended. Well, he obviously had some plans for that, but then he searches for the lost sheep. The woman who lost the coin in today's reading, the coin was maybe worth between a penny and five cents. Not a lot, but that woman was very intent on finding that coin. Same thing is true with us. God loves us, takes care of us, and God is intent on finding us. And we're here, we're praying today because we want to make sure that we are always close to God and in contact with the God who loves us. Our lives of prayer, our reading of scripture, our personal prayer, our reaching out to others in need are all ways in making sure that we are close to God. If we keep up that, God is not going to lose us. God is going to rejoice because we are there. But in a special way today, we pray for those people who may be lost. Oh, God knows where they are but sometimes they just lose their way. Sin, selfishness, that disconnection. So often it's because of apathy and the dis- forgetting. So today we pray in a special way for ourselves. We can always be aware of that presence of God. And we pray for others that those who are lost can open their hearts and be found by the God who loves them. I believe in God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. Lord Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified and died in his burial. He is in the third day of the Lord, he is in the third day of the Lord, he is in the third day of the Lord, he is in the We present then to God our prayers and our petitions. We ask God's help as we continue to find God in our day-to-day lives. That church leaders everywhere will be inspired by today's gospel to seek the lost and bring them back into a living relationship with God and the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that we be generous in our acceptance of others, slow to judge, quick to forgive, and may God's abundant love for each of us encourage us to care for one another as shepherds care for their sheep. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That parents of children who have chosen not to be a part of the church life will not be discouraged but continue to pray for their return. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick, especially among our viewers and listeners, will experience healing and relief from pain. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died will inherit the kingdom of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, We remember the needs and prayers of our Heart of the Nation Parish members, including those in the Orlando, Daytona Beach, and Melbourne, Florida viewing areas. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we ask you to hear the prayers of your family gathered here before you and your family gathered throughout the nation. Hear our prayers and help us always never to be lost from you. May we always seek the love that you share with us. Hear us and grant then our needs through Christ our Lord.
Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be found acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of the Lord. Amen. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost by disobedience. And so, Lord, with the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we now acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jerome, our Archbishop, with bishops, clergy, religious, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, grant that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. 
Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. we feel lost and alone, we need to be people of prayer, connecting ourselves with God. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours forever. And Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with each of you always. Amen. In a special way today, we extend God's gift of peace to all that are watching from their TVs, from their homes. May the Lord's peace be with all of us as we gather in prayer. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of our world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul.
and let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our liturgy has ended. Enjoy the day, enjoy the time. Hope you uh, have a good day at your homes if you're listening and watching. You know, we talked about St. Anthony. I think he's not only good for lost keys and things, but I think he's also good for lost people. So if you want to find something or someone's looking for the Lord, pray to St. Anthony. He might be a great help. Our liturgy has ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. We offer our viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the prayers for the Mass, scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers. It'll be a great guide for your daily prayer time. For your free copy, call us toll-free at 1-855-855-MASS. That's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us, and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're joining us through YouTube, please click below to subscribe to our channel. The Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass is a viewer-supported ministry. Please do your part to help keep Mass on TV and online. If you receive our monthly bulletin, you may use the enclosed reply envelope to send in your regular offering. Thank you, and may God bless you.